and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Yasuo Swain. It's our next deck in our 12 hour stream. Made a couple of changes since the last time we played this deck. Um, got another Leviathan in here because of the, how good that card is with Swain. And um, decided to put some Mites in here. I kind of figured that that Mites should, should probably just be a card that we play with Swain just in general. Um, you know, like maybe that is just a card that should just be in all the Swain decks because of how important Nexus Strike is. Like you really want to give this Overwhelm, have some damage Overwhelm over to your opponent and get that Nexus Strike trigger, especially when you have a leveled up Swain because that is so valuable. The other thing is this is just a good Might deck in general because we'll have like Blade Twirler uh, be really big sometimes. And we have these top end cards that are really big like Minotaur Reckoner giving this Might. Um, or Yone. Like, these are really good at might targets as well. Leviathan already has Overwhelm. <clears throat> but Yasuo, you know, they, you can give that um, might. And with the quick attack, maybe you are able to attack through something else bigger. So I'm, I'm excited to try out some mites in here, basically. You probably got that already. But yeah, we, we have, like, part of our deck is trying to do a bunch of damage to different things. You know, whether it's, like, Noxion Fervor or Death Lotus. Trying to... Um, level up the Swain. We have another part of our deck trying to stun and recall a bunch of stuff to level up Yasuo. We're just kind of putting them together and we have this kind of cool mid-range deck that is versatile and can do some different things. So let's let's uh, give it a try. We're going to play some Yasuo Swain. Yeah, I love the ramp with Wolf Rider with this kind of deck. Okay, yeah, that's, that's what we're going to do with the Sejuani Swain later. Yep, we're going to play... Uh, Wolf Rider and Leviathan and stuff like that. All right, fine, Harvey. You can get one more because you eat yours so fast. And you're three times as big as Pup, so I guess you can get two. Yeah, Pup, Pup's like just started chewing on hers. All right, here you go. That's it. You're not getting any more. <laughs> Don't... Don't eat it so fast. Oh, puppy dogs getting their, getting their holiday chews. It's not really exactly holiday time, but close enough. All right, Vi Elise. So I like all these cards, and I, I like these cards with Yasuo, but I don't like how everything costs four mana. But these cards are good with Yasuo. I kind of want to get rid of the Williams. I don't want everything to cost four. Alright. You can't ever truly get rid of William. Death Lotus is nice against Elise and the spiders and stuff. Ooh, those Noxus sleeves look good. We're, of course, going with our Yasuo sleeves, though. I don't bite. I don't believe you. Hmm. I'll just pass. No, I don't want to do channel points for treats. I don't want to... I don't want to feed my dogs too many treats. They don't usually get too many, but... You know, just like weight-wise, I don't want to just be giving them a bunch of treats. They're happy, though. See... You can probably see Pup back here. Here's Pup. <laughs> She's chewing on hers. I don't want to have a, a big round puppy. I wish my arm wasn't uh, in the way. I need, I need puppy cam. You won't suffer long.
So we're like not even trading with a card, right? Because the Elise just created those spiders. No, you can earn. No, you don't. Yes, yeah, so you can buy cards if you want. Sorry, anyway, that was pop. Uh, yes, you. So you can buy cards. Basically, you you just buy gold and then you use the gold to uh, craft whatever cards you want, or you can just uh, earn them through a bunch of different rewards that uh, you get from just playing the game. You play the game, you get XP each week. Um, depending on how much XP you earn, you get a weekly reward that gives you a bunch of chests and capsules. And then you also have uh, region rewards that you earn every day while you're playing. And you get to level up your region rewards and earn cards also. I would like to Concussive Palm, kill the Elise, get a 3-2. That would be nice. You know, we had to have Yasuo in play. If I try to just play it, they can just respond by killing my Yasuo, and then that doesn't work. So I'm going to be just going to attacks, and then if they use removal on Yasuo, then I'll respond with Concussive Palm. Yeah, I... I agree with the other people in chat. They're saying the reward system is very nice in the game. Hmm. Will of Ionia and bounce my Yasuo. I want to bounce my Yasuo? No. I just want to stun this, kill this. Get my 3 2. All right, so we got one out of five for Yasuo. We're already nine out of twenty, nine out of twelve for Swain. Try to say twelve and Swain at the same time. We got Twain. Thanks, XZ. Welcome. Yeah, we playing Swain. So obviously it'd be better to play the Blade Twirler first, but then they would be able to challenge something with Bai, and I don't want them to do that. Think you're fast? Cute. Intimidating Roar. Huh. Strike at their foundations. Bring it. So I could Will of Ionia. Yeah, let's do that. So we're going to Will of Ionia. Bounce this so it doesn't kill my Tail of the Dragon. I don't want to just, like, Might and try to trade because then they use Removal Spell on, on my Tail of the Dragon. I may still Might and try to get just the Overwhelm damage in, depending on what they do. 
But as is, I'll just keep it like this. Yep, resets by. This is, can be where might is difficult to to use though uh, against a deck with a lot of removal, like my opponents got. How are we getting the other three points in? Their deck also has a lot of life gain, so it's not it's not it's not reliable that like that we're gonna just kill them right right away. Let's I guess I, with me having a second might, I'm gonna use one here. Now they probably are use a removal spell on my blade twirler, so then I get to noxion fervor. So basically trading my trading my might for one of their removal spells. I would like to do that. Wow, they discarded a Vi. Yeah, they discarded a Vi. Yeah, because we got to force their removal, get it out of their hand. <laughs> exactly. Like, so that was a good trade. Trading might for get excited. Plus Vi. We have a whole lot of top end in this deck. That's what we're looking to draw. Levi if I could pick any card, I would choose Leviathan. Yasuo. All right. Do we get to play all of these? The we do. Watch your back. That egg. Did it move? Quite the dish. They still have a whole lot of mana. If this works, we win. If it doesn't, we'll go to next turn. Unfortunately, I think it's going to stun him left to right, so we're not actually going to kill Elise. No, we're only going to do two damage to Elise. Maybe I do have a future. My favorite guardian, like my, my favorite champion. Your champion, maybe Teemo. I think puff caps are really fun. It's not real competitive necessarily, but it's really fun. Leviathan. Leviathan. Okay, I'll take a Reckoner. Ugh. You 
I have to I have to block, obviously. Maybe they don't attack. Alright, they attacked. Oh, favorite one of these pets. Um Oh, come on. Oh no, they're gonna just wait, so if they just play If they play Ledros, we win, right? If they play Ledros and they don't have Isle Feast. Come on, play Ledros. I think they're worried about playing Ledros and me having something that does one damage to them and stunning the Ledros, though. They're worried about that. Just don't have removal. Just have a blocker, not removal. I wonder if I would have just passed and not played Swain. They they probably would have just thrown out Ledros again. No. Yeah, I probably should have just passed because they probably would have just played Ledros, right? I mean, that, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to just swing and might swing. That's what I wanted to do. That's an egg. Did it move? For the Empire. No. No. So obviously I got I got really excited by drawing this this Swain and played it, but I wonder if I would have just passed. I wonder if I would have just passed if, if I could have won that. I mean they did. They played a vile feast a couple of turns later, so they may have had a vile feast that would have kept them alive. That was close. We started. We started drawing our top end later on. Yeah. If if I pass and then they pass, then 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 right. Like you know that wouldn't have worked. Obviously. Um. But maybe they don't pass. Maybe they would have played Ledros. Like, who knows? Yeah, I don't... Yeah, I'm not saying Orok Glinthorn's bad. Like, so Orok Glinthorn also costs six mana. It's hard to pull off, but... Like, what of the top end cards would we rather have Orok Glinthorn? Like, would you... Like, Minotaur Reckoner is too good. I don't think we're playing, like, I don't think we're taking out Yone or Leviathan for Orok Glinthorn. It's hard to play that card. No, same matchup. Hmm. Nah, I'm gonna keep Leviathan this time. These games go long. I, I want these things that, that are awesome. You know, Leviathan, awesome. Reckoner, awesome. I want them. Especially Leviathan. Interesting. Look what you did. I honestly wasn't really expecting a block there.
I thought that I could kind of cheap shot that damage in. Wasted all their mana. Is a leap's only purpose. Of course I want the concussive palm just like just like last game. Have concussive palm after Yasuo. It didn't didn't necessarily work out for me that I attacked with that Crimson Disciple. I really like to draw a Death Lotus. No more Nocturne Fervors. Dang, chill out. So many spiders. Yeah, no, you're right. We should experiment more with the card. You're right. Wow, no attacks? That's got to be good for me, right? Just We're just not attacking these days? I imagine their plan is... Is their plan Ruination? If their plan was Ruination, they would have attacked last turn. Yeah, Intimidating Roar would be really satisfying. I mean, maybe they play Ruination now, and then I get to play Swain. I don't know. Am I supposed to just sit back? Also. Some things never. The, the problem with attacking with Yasuo is I get I let them have another action. I, I kind of like them not having any action and just passing and just letting my Minotaur Reckoner keep stunning things. I 
Can I have too many cards? Where are they at? Four, eight, ten. They're at ten cards. Don't pull anything. Just pass. Go to next turn and burn this top card. Um. Here comes the punchline. Okay, well that's probably doesn't mean ruination. That is true. Come closer. I don't fight. I do have a back. That's true. I do. I can just get another Swain with Leviathan. So might as well throw it out here too. Cause they're not really playing like they're gonna have Ruination. And I will do the damage to Swain to kill this Elise. So they don't. I don't want them to have a leveled up Elise. Um, honestly, I don't, I don't have like a, a great recommendation Reaper. Um, I don't know. We'll kind of see, you know, kind of ask me at the end of the day. <laughs> I'm playing a lot of decks that, that I like. Maybe maybe we'll find something that I'll really recommend. I mean, uh, I do like the Bilgewater decks. I'm pretty interested to see how our Twisted Fizz deck is going to play. It's just Mono Demacia. Man, I want to let that happen and then just play Minotaur, or just play Leviathan. No, we're probably not supposed to. Yeah, get rid of that atrocity. I love a taste of the action. I face my fate. Your turn. All right, let's see what happens. Make them spend a lot of mana first, and then hopefully our tricks help us out. This is stunning the strongest back row enemy, so it doesn't actually stun anything if we use Noxion Fervor and do damage to them. Alright, so they still have five mana left. This would be there at 13, if I just let this happen, as is.
I'm gonna go for the win. So didn't get the win, but they're down to a low life total of six. They used a bunch of removal. And we have Leviathan. Draw us another Swain. So we're looking good. So they discarded a Karina Veraza and a Commander Ledros. Those are their discards with Get Excited. Like a flower, Zan will bloom. Each Is that all? Oh, this hurts. Prepare the cargo! Test my patience. All right, setting it up like this, we want the the Death Lotus to happen first. Deal one damage to all battling units. Get one on the Karina Veraza. Then we stun Karina Veraza. Do five with the Yasuo. If we do the the stun card first. Like if the stun card would happen first, then it would be it wouldn't be attacking anymore, so it wouldn't have taken the one damage. GG's one and one against Karina Control both times. That's why I kept Leviathan in my opener. Leviathan is awesome. We had Leviathan one game, we won. We had, didn't have Leviathan the other game, we lost. Probably no coincidence there. Hmm. Do I want to get rid of the Might? And the Concussive Palm. Um... They don't really... Karma Maokai doesn't really care about attacking. Get rid of those. But they do care about blocking a lot. I could see that might actually being really good. But we'll try to draw into it later. Swim. Swimathy. I'm not sure if you'll be playing the exact list that's on Mobile Addicts for this deck. I'll try anyone I really don't like the Curse Keepers and uh, Blighted Caretakers in that list. Please, I have connections. Start with the Blade Twirlers. Getting these things down. Yasuo is a good draw, of course. I can probably pretty safely play Yasuo this next turn. I think this is pretty safe. Hopefully it's safe. Wow, Kai. Oh, 
don't like seeing my okay. Does have Curse Keeper. Hmm. Quick footwork, fast strikes. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. I like these saplings. Um, yeah, it's it's difficult for me to check out decks during. Like while I'm streaming and playing and, and talking and everything pure still, but there's a lot of people here in chat. Um, you know, you can, you know, hopefully somebody in chat will will help you out. You know, feel free to post your de your deck list and ask for help from people in chat. Um, I know you're saying like, yeah, you have a Brahm Sejuani deck. You think it could be a lot better? Honestly, like, I like the card, but Brahm is just really, really weak as a champion. It's hard to really imagine that decks are better with Braum than without Braum right now, and, and that's it's unfortunate. I'm really in enticed to bounce Maokai and pump these blade twirlers right now. I really want to do that. Yeah, so if you're, you have any excuse, any um, experience with those kind of decks, feel free to help out Purester there. I wonder if I was supposed to bounce. That is good. I guess. Actually, it's not that good because that kills the Cursed Keepers. And I don't want to kill Cursed Keepers. Ruination. Ruination. An entire nation ruined. The journey doesn't get you the rope. That one's gonna hurt. Always by my side. That one's gonna hurt. Entire nation ruined. So I'm hoping, you know, hoping to be able to get a lot of damage in this turn. Oh man, that's good. Such 
naivete. One more life. One more little life. I have to make sure we don't die, and I have to make sure if I just fire off Noxion Fervor, it doesn't... Uh, doesn't cost me. I feel like that's my safest play. It's casting Leviathan. Why does he do the sad face and then play Will of Ionia? Like, have the answer. Understand that. Maybe he doesn't have another answer. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. All right, so. Getting a bunch of random spells. We're hoping no Will of Ionia. Thing is, the swim has to act first, and then whenever swim acts, we have the fervor. So we're looking really good. Like there, you know, having two. It's going to be difficult having two answers. It has to have like will plus deny. Kind of thing. Noxion fervor. Please, no health potion. This gets real messy if he has a health potion. I'm suddenly in a lot of trouble. Absorb soul. Yep, I'm in a lot of trouble. Do I attack? Artillery barrage! I think it's important to have this... I think it's... Important to have this Leviathan with to pair with the the leveled up Swain and Yasuo. I think it's this Leviathan honestly does it a, a lot for me.
I will find it. The code for Starlit Fate is... Right here. But yeah, that's, that's the link to all the decks right there. I think I pass. I'll just play Yatsu. Yep, that, that's the code right there. That's too bad. Nine. I'd only have two more mana. I don't get to roar, palm, and might. Kill my Yasuo. Unless I can y level up Yasuo, but I... I can't really before damage. I can't, I don't think I can level him up. I mean, this is just going to be one. I, I can't really do. I can't level up again. Do have another Swain? The blessed Isles live through me. Noxus will not conquer the Shadow Isles. Looks like this is all I'm going to have, though. My library is about to get annihilated. Looks like GG. My my chance of winning this is super, super slim now. The removal on that Leviathan. Alright, so now it's just over. That Ruination was awesome. Just Karma. Really, that's... <laughs> Karma's just amazing, isn't it? Karma's just amazing.
I don't want them to, to challenge my Swain and, uh, and then attack with the others, because then I'm forced... Like, if I play Crimson Disciple, then I have to have Crimson Disciple block Karma. Good play. Give them room to spread their leaves. We will not stand by. Good card out. All right, Karma still busted. I thought we were going to get there with that Leviathan, but, um, you know, double grasp the double grasp killing Leviathan didn't get there. I wonder how much like mana, how many different spells and mana of spells karma cast that game it was like i wonder if it was you know somewhere between like 30 to 50 mana probably that karma spent for free it's probably something like that all right let's see bye heimerdinger let's again i i kind of think i just want to keep leviathan against these decks All right, Crimson Disciple, do some stuff. My turn. Our deck's been holding its own, though. There against Swim and against Karina Control twice. Now Vi Heimerdinger Control. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. Usually Yasuo has really struggled against control, but this this version we've we've been holding our own in these games. Facing nothing but control. What would be good to build as anti-control? Because we we are facing a majority of decks are control decks right now. I wonder what we should play, like, what could we build that is horrible against burn aggro, but really good against control? We don't see, we don't see burn aggro anymore. I've played burn aggro around, probably around 5% of matches in the last, like, three days, like, one out of 20 or so. Basically not playing against it anymore. Yeah, Bilgewater Card Yoinker, that's what I'm kind of thinking. Yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking, too. I think Deep? I don't know if the Deep decks are that good against Control. Follow the wind, but, watch it back. but yeah, Bilgewater Card Yoink. Maybe that deck should splash for... So that's what I'm going to try that later on with the Twisted Fizz. Maybe it should be splashing. I don't have, I don't have any splash whatsoever. I'm thinking like what should we be splashing for? Maybe we should we should be splashing for like Ionia and for Shadow Assassin and Zed. Because besides Twisted Fate, the other like I don't really like Gangplank. It's too slow and clunky. That's why we're gonna try out Fizz.
I mean, maybe it is just maybe it's just twisted karma, and just tune at twisted karma to be against control because karma is just too good. Is Yasuo Swain good for climbing? Um, it's not like one of the the best, but it's it's uh you know it's just fine. There's thing is is there's you can play basically anything. Um, I really like that about this game. There's not like any like specific deck that like definitely play this kind of thing. The the fastest deck for for just climbing purposes is Burn Aggro because the games are the fastest. And it's like that's like the the absolute fastest deck. I'm worried about, with Noxian Fervor, I'm worried about them having Twin Disciplines and saving Heimerdinger. So I think I'm going to Will of Ionia bounce Heimerdinger. The other thing this does, this will pump up my Blade Twirler to be three, three power to kill their Shadow Assassin. And of course, I don't want them getting the turret. That keeps them from getting the turret and they have to like spend next turn to play Heimerdinger. King, are you asking me or Purester? <laughs> Playing versus Karma past round 10 feels like a waste of time. Yeah, it's kind of that way. Alright, we got Heimerdinger out of here. That's six for leveling up Swain. That's pretty good. I was planning on playing Leviathan, but now let's go Yasuo plus Arachnoid Sentry. So they play like Fi or whatever. Basically have Arachnoid Sentry turn into like Flame Tongue Kavu. Cause the Yasuo will do two damage to the Claws. Right now, Claws is the only thing that blocks my Swain. That will also be two more non-combat damage towards level up Swain. Ah, was denied. Looks like maybe they're taking this. Do they have like two get excited? They're gonna try to try to have the two elusive damage and a couple get excited. So I guess I'm 
that's the case, I'm going to need to... If they take this and then go straight and attacking with the Shadow Assassin, I have to stun it. Even though that means, again, we won't be able to play the Leviathan. Because we're going to have 10 mana. But I don't think that we're in the... like We're not in the I'll just take two phase of this game. Because if they're not blocking Arachnoid Sentry here... That means that they want to get some burn and kill me with burn spells. It's too late for you. Okay, well they blocked. We stunning. I'd rather st stun during combat than before combat in case uh, something weird happens. I don't know, like they, you know, they have like the thing that re like the return recall thing you know like they i stun it before combat they just put it back in their hand put it back into play that would be bad so doing it during combat yeah i guess i could have played i could have played this though instead of just passing cuz it would get the stun buff that's true I kind of think I'm not playing that, though. And just being able to have all my mana next turn. But maybe I should have played it. I guess my plan, my plan was not to play it. But yeah, I guess it looks like it was pretty safe to play it, though. Mana-wise. No. <laughs> but by not playing it, I get that. Eh, I'd still be able to play it anyway. Big blade for a little warrior. Underestimate me. I dare you. <laughs> How do I get punished for playing Arachnoid Sentry? I don't really think I do. Like, I don't think they're gonna have Yasuo in their deck. Or not Yasuo, sorry. Yone. I don't think they're gonna have Yone in their deck. Surrender. We're holding our own against control pretty well, two and two. He also has usually done um, real bad against control. So. This this version with Swain's holding its own. I think I didn't mulligan Leviathan that game. Is that right? And then I just kept Leviathan and never played it? Does that sound right? Because if that's the case, maybe I should have mulliganed the Leviathan. Yeah, our next decks that are going to be donation decks. So they're uh, viewer submitted decks. And that's something you can always have on stream also. Also, donation decks. Besides that, there's an option for I love a taste of the, action. the um for spending your channel points if you notice like with the channel points besides ten dollar donation you can also spend a ten thousand channel points and get a donation back as well
Well, I'm glad we made that trade. I know we, we didn't get the Demolitionist combo, but getting Lucian off the battlefield whenever there's Senna here also... I'm glad we made that trade. Yeah, the direct damage has been helping us close the game, right, that Yasuo decks before haven't had access to. Help me out, Reckoner. That card's good. That's pretty rough. Sentinels of light don't fear the dark. Hmm. So we're gonna death lotus. So I'll clear out those two. And then we block here. And then I guess I block here. I'll put my reckoner down to one health. Which is risky. No. I regret that. GG's. Yay! 
yeah, Might's not so good, and this is right against aggro. Might's not necessarily so good. I just have two. It, yeah, it's it's a real bummer that we drew both of our Might's and you know no Yasuos or Yones or things like that. Like, you know, Yasuo is really like our card to help us help keep under control, uh, keep keep aggro under control. But no, we didn't have that. So that. That is not a good Might matchup, I understand. And, and Might really, I mean, Might would have paired well with Swain if we would have drawn Swain. Um, because then, you know, Nexus Strike, we would have done a lot of damage to all their stuff. But we didn't draw Swain either. So, you know, like we just didn't have didn't have either champion. And we just sat with a bunch of Mites. Like, that was, that was just pretty unlucky. But it happens. Um, but that's why, that's why I don't think it's as much of a... I wouldn't really call it a win more card though with with this. Um, how important that is, and and usually like those decks, it's kind of hard to get damage across and like giving Reckoner or Yone, um, giving like these bigger bodies um, the ability to get damage across is also nice. But that combination with a leveled up Swain, which I think we would have had a leveled up Swain, I'm pretty sure we would have. Yeah, cause we we played multiple. Devilishness, and we had the Death Lotus that did a lot of damage to damage like six different things. So, yeah. So if one of those mites were a Swain, that would have been awesome. Um. Anyway, so there we go. There was our Yasuo Swain deck. We went two and three. Held our own against the um, against the control decks. Really held our own very well. Um, you know, yeah, going two and two against them. And all those games were really close. You know, both of our wins were close. Both of our losses were close. Bunch of fun games. The, against the Demacia deck, our deck didn't look as good, um, that last game, but also we had none of our champions and our deck really is built around Yasuo and Swain. And so if we don't have either Yasuo or Swain at all, our deck's going to be underpowered, and that's that's what it really looked like against three Grizzled Rangers and all the stuff that my opponent was doing. So there we go. So there's there's our Yasuo Swain deck. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and uh, you know feel free to leave those comments and let me know um, you know what you think of the deck, all that kind of stuff. You got questions. I'll be answering those later, but let's move on for our 12-hour stream. Our next deck's going to be Twisted Ezreal, um, and I and I'm I've made a good amount of changes to the Twisted Ezreal deck from like what we saw at the very beginning of the format. Um, we're going to be playing a lot more of the Steel card, um, like uh, the Steel cards, and with having a combo finish with Ezreal, maybe that deck will be good against Control. That's what uh, we're hoping. All right, that's it here, though, for Yasuo Swain. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.